Hey guys, it's Nick from BonBonsai.com and today I'm talking about the Redwood Bonsai. So, Redwood Bonsai were originally found, uh, originally made in Manchuria, China. So, Bonsai is a centuries-old practice of the Chinese and Japanese people in reproducing natural trees in a miniaturized form. And these Bonsai lend to a, uh, lend a lot of... Uh, to a lot of elegance, beauty, and value, especially when they start to mature with time. There are different types of trees that lend themselves well to bonsai, or rather being bonsai, and among them is the redwood bonsai, which is a very exciting tree form of which the dawn redwood variety is especially most suitable for being a bonsai. Planted in the U.S. in 1948, the dawn redwood bonsai was originally found in Manchuria in, Can in China and it was once featured, or rather feared, to have become extinct until it was rediscovered in the 40s. And this particular redwood is a true redwood, redwood that is quite like the American redwood. And they're actually relics of bygone times being living fossils. From the early times, such redwoods were found growing in forests. And since 1948, they were planted in the U.S. And nowadays, the redwood bonsai has become very popular. The original Dawnwood Red, uh, Dawn Redwood bonsai trees have a lacy type of foliage as compared with the American version, and it also uh, it's also deciduous and quite pretty in the fall when their light green spray turns to yellow and then to bronze before shedding its uh, its leaves. The redwood trees grown in America and California are close relatives to the Don Redwood bonsai starters and are generally two-year-old trees that look a lot like cypress trees, though they can exist in slightly less wetter climates and are wonderful for forest building. Redwood bonsai are also well suited for growing indoors and it may not always require to be grown inside a home or beneath shade. And people may also be under the wrong impression that growing redwood bonsai indoors may not be conducive to it growing because there's not enough sunlight. The truth is that when you grow redwood bonsai indoors or even outdoors, it should be given plenty of sunlight and should have humid conditions while there should also be moistness and fertilizer added in order to get the best results. Redwood bonsai makes wonderful sites and this can be attributed to the way in which the redwood tapers away from its roots flare that is heavy and also broad. You can find Don Redwoods growing in Wisconsin, though they need good protection from especially strong winds, because those winds are ridiculous. If you've never been in Wisconsin or the Midwest, the, what the heck's with the winds? It'll carry you off. The smaller Don Redwood bonsai are he uh, not heavily, but well grooved and have one or two inch trunks. And if the trunk is especially large and heavy, it will be well suited as a formal upright style bonsai. Now that's all I have for this video today. If you're interested in learning how to trim, sculpt, prune, uh, wire, repot, water, all this stuff for your bonsai or to your bonsai, um, go to bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. That's all I got to say about that. And I'll have more videos just like this, or not just like this, uh, you know, different content, better content, stuff like that. I've already made tons of videos. I'll be making a lot more in the future. And make sure you subscribe. You'll be, you know, popping in your feed. Anyways, that's all for this video.